So we'll begin. Okay, where is it? <laughs> it's a person. Why is it a person? Hello, Traria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. I'm starting today's episode off in the desert on the far left of the world, because today we're going to drop down into the abyss biome and go and get ourselves some chaotic ore. I actually haven't really covered the abyss biome at all in the Mega Mod Pack, and that's because if you're unaware, if you are new, hey, nice to meet you, uh, but if you are unaware, we did a Calamity Death Mode series just before the Mega Mod Pack. And in that death mode series, we actually spent quite a bit of time messing around with the Abyss. It was a brand new feature then. Uh, there were bosses in it. There was end game bosses that we had to do. I had to farm for weapons. We used one of those weapons against a DO double G. Um, <laughs> but it, it was a really great setup, but I haven't done any of it in this series. But we're literally getting all today. So I thought I'd show it off. There was a change to it that happened after my series, I believe. Like... I think at the start of the series, you could dive into it, and if you just had the right loadout, you could survive, essentially. Like, you wouldn't drown, you wouldn't poison, but I do think now it, it's all different. So, we're dip-diving and dodging on down into it. Look, I've literally never been into it. Just to go and get this chaotic ore, and if I remember correctly, it's below some of the gravel components. Okay, so now I'm drowning, but I do have something that shouldn't make me drown. So that's the change, I believe. Okay, this is it. All right. We'll have to just grab as much of this as possible. Be as quick as possible. I haven't opened up any of these chests. I probably should at some point come back to them and actually grab them. Okay, let's grab all that chaotic ore. Because the thing with the chests is they have um, they have some of the elements in them that you need to actually survive the biome. This is fine. And this might actually be how it's intended. I can't remember, honestly. Calamity. I love you. Like, I love the Calamity mod. It's literally my favorite Terraria mod. Um, but my memory of Calamity is, is, is garbage. Like, I don't know... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I play too many mods or because it changes all the time. But there are some elements of mods I just completely forget. And some that stick really... Like, some that stick out to me all the way. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I like about Calamity, though. It, like, requires a... Um, a certain level of knowledge and the knowledge doesn't come easily you have to like build it up all right so you need a shadow key to open up these anyway all right i'm gonna die real quick but i'm just gonna keep going until i die just so i can go and get some more chaotic ore this is serving me really well oh there you go i can breathe there so that's that's probably a glitch that's caused by me so at the minute it's too dark to see and that's because you need a certain level of light to actually see mo most of the stuff here I'm sure you guys know most of this anyway. You guys are a lot more uh, cleverer than me when it comes to remembering all this stuff. Okay. I got killed by a Reaper Shark. That, that thing is large. I remember those. That's a lot. You get different sizes maybe? I can't remember. Right. Big reveal here. Welcome to the new spawn. Welcome on in. Hope you didn't look at the minimap because I may have just ruined it a little bit. Right. So... I've been doing some thinking recently about worlds. I've been playing Minecraft a lot. I've been playing it with some of my uh, my school friends. I say some, just the one. Um, but I've been playing Minecraft and it made me think about how the world is really important when you're playing a game. Because when you watch me play Terraria, the world kind of becomes a character. You you know me for pyramids because of the cactuses. You know me for making a cactus house, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of hate some of my builds recently. I'm not a big builder in Terraria. I kind of never have been, in all honesty. But I decided to get inspired. Well, I felt inspired, and I changed our spawn. The pyramid is now gone. It's completely gone. It was it was kind of bad anyway. I feel like you guys are overly nice to me. It was bad. And I built something new in replacement of that, and I'm sure you've all seen it. Right, so I'll explain why I built it this way. This is the new spawn. Looks amazing, right? It's where the pyramid was. This is all of the uh, the, the, the building, uh, the uh, blah, the chest stuff that we had here before. It's not even moved. I built one room for the alchemist. I built another for the combo pot. I built another for the female alchemist. So I have everything set up. They're the three NPCs I need. I also have a teleport orb to the dungeon, to the original spawn. The original spawn looks like this. Just a big NPC factory. I've just left it that way because it kind of needs to be that way. And here's the new build. Let me zoom out a little minute. This is what I built. As you guys know, 
in the summer, we sold some cactus shirts. And I just wanted to, uh, to say thank you for that by building you a big, giant cactus boy. This is it. I did try and make it into an NPC hotel. Decided against it. It didn't look as good. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Leave me a comment down below if you like it or not. On the original design, the cactus is black. That's because it's printed on a black t-shirt. So I decided to make it green and give it a black border. Just so it's a little bit different, but still colorful. Hope you like it. <laughs> and, and that made me feel good today. Just changing that up. I got rid of the gaping hole in the middle. Now I've got a tunnel. It's functional, which is good. I, I think getting rid of the gaping hole is a good idea. And I made sure the whole biome is now hallowed instead of being 50-50. It looked a little bit ugly. We now have this it's it's the same as before i'm lying it's not i haven't even changed it right um but there we go right so let's dump a bunch of stuff in here especially this we got a lot of stuff right so i need to make chaotic bars now i was so confused by by armor in the last episode i was like i need to sort my head out because i was getting it all wrong this is the next step for armor not astral Okay, that gave me a lot then. Right, so I need to make... Actually, let's double check. Let's get some chaotic bars in my inventory real quick. Let's actually have a little look at what it is. Because I can't remember. Okay, so you've got a full range of helmets as well. Uh, and it's ataxia. Ataxia. What to do? It ataxes you. Does that make... No, that doesn't make any sense. It was, it was meant to sound like ataxia. Oh my god. Right, chaos amulet. Oh, there are some good stuff. I think I'll probably go with um, Mage still, I guess. What's that? That's 126 to 147. So that's actually pretty good. Living Fire Block as well. I could probably make that. And then I'll make all the armor as well. We've also got Discordian Wings. Oh, sounds lovely. So we got a lot. We got a lot. A lot to be making today. Right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's bang that in there. And let's start making attacks here. So, our current defense is 78. Let's make the chest piece. Let's make the melee helmet. Sorry, magic helmet. <laughs> oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> attacks here. Alright, I got my helmet. Then I just need to make my leggings. I'm kind of getting sick of all these enemies. You guys need to back on up. Right. Uh, taxia. Right, so I've got my leggings now. Cool. I don't know if I can make that book. Let's see. Wings? Can I make Discordian wings? I might actually take the time to make Discordian wings at some point. I'm using the Soul of Cryogen at the minute because it gives us uh, extra damage. Could be something I make though. Chaotic bars. What's this? The Forbidden Sun. I feel like this used to have... I don't know if I'm getting confused, but I remember a weapon called the Forbidden Sun at some point. Forbidden Sun. Which mod is it that adds this? Oh, it's juiced. Oh, I'm definitely crafting that. Crafting that. That's for my boy Fury. <laughs> don't know if you guys... This was such a long time ago, but I don't know if you guys ever caught my cameo in his series. It was really cool. Uh, I played the, um, the guide at the start. Which is kind of funny because you would imagine I would play the... Um, well, just anybody else, really. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Why can't I make this? Oh, you need a bookcase. Ah, and I'm so sure I got rid of my bookcase earlier when I was building. Yeah, I did. Right, I'm gonna have to make a bookcase. So, let's see. Book. Can I make a bookcase now? Yes, I can make one out of you wood. This is what I had before, actually. Let's put this over here. I don't know. I don't really have much need for a bookcase, so... We'll dump that there. And then we'll also... I need, I need a space for this, but I also kind of like what I've already built. So maybe I'll put it there. There we go. It's Fury's house. Let's get those bars. Chaotic bars. Let's see. Living wood. Or living fire block. Bam. Man, this is classic. We're actually doing some crafting together. I haven't done this in a little while. Okay. Forbidden sun. It's done. Right, so I've currently got 78 defense. Swap it over. I've got 68. But I've also got all these set bonuses, which is increased magical damage, inferno effect, magic attack, summon damage, and blah, blah, blah. Cool. What's this? Ooh, not bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, I... 
I have this really strong feeling that the Forbidden Sun was at some other point in Calamity when we first played many moons ago, like a year and a half ago. Oh my god, it's even longer than that. God, I started I started Calamity in January of 2017. Oh my god, that's going to be two years old soon. Time goes so quick, it really does. Can anybody remember the first Calamity series? Leave me a comment down below if you watched it. Or maybe you found it later. I don't know. If you did watch it, I would greatly appreciate it because it was such a long time ago. Right, today we are doing a boss. We're going to do the uh, the nostalgia one. So this gentleman here, he sells the nostalgia potion. I asked you guys in the last episode how we got it. Thank you for pointing it out. And with the cactus build, I left this little bottom part here. It kind of looks like a nappy on the minimap or a diaper. I don't know which word you want to use. But I thought we could save this as a little NPC home for NPCs that we might need in the episode today. So we've got this dude because we needed him. So checking out this little teleporter hub once again. It goes to the jungle and it also goes to the ocean biome. Because this is something that needs in the ocean biome. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, cool. Thank you for your help, by the way, guys, because I really wouldn't have remembered where that was if you didn't help me out. Okay, let's get ready. Let's see what this is like. I don't. I actually don't know what it's going to be like. It's from Disarray. I can't remember the quality of Disarray. So we'll begin. Okay, where is it? <laughs> it's a person. Why is it a person? I kind of assumed it'd be like a very large boss. The only thing with this is that it's really hard to hit. Because it's so small. Oh my god. Why is he riding a piano? What is that meant to be? I don't know. We well, hits quite hard, to be honest. Right. Oh my god. This is so hard to hit. Oh, there you go. It's better when you... We can actually get it. I don't think my mage combination is working very well. I think it's... Whoa! Hey, it's a ghost! <laughs> I didn't notice that. All right, so I've done this fight a good number of times now. Bit of a jump cut, really. Yeah, it's really hard. Even though it's such a small and insignificant little boss, it's got a lot to it, honestly, and I'm kind of excited for that. I do think, though, obviously, it does need some changes. That sprite work it leaves a lot to, uh, to be improved upon. But other than that, it's not bad. Right, so I've got another nostalgia potion. I want to show you where I'm at with actually fighting it. So I'm all zoomed out. And I'm going to begin. Right, so let me show you guys. Right, let's debuff it if we can. And then go for a bit of this. Right, this is how far I've, I've managed to, to take this. If I can actually land some of these, these do pretty well. But it gets more and more extreme. And you don't actually want to be close. Because every time you're close, you run the risk of, like, getting seriously damaged. It does, it's literally kind of a... Yeah, it's really, really hard. It's got a lot of projectiles to it. So, it's very well thought out, in a, in a sense. And the cool thing as well is that before he does an attack, he actually has like a little bit of unique animation to him, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see if I can get some heals off of this. Yeah, these work a little bit. Not going to lie. As you can see, I'm burning right now. Once you've uh, been burnt, it, it's such a long debuff in this uh, in this mod. All right, let's see if we can hit some of these. As you can see, looping around with this gets harder and harder and harder. So you have to start eventually, like, spreading out and stuff. And then that gets even harder as well. Let's get a little bit more heals real quick. Actually, we'll take a little bit of that. Whee! Just to heal us up. And this lasts for 15 seconds. Right, so now that I'm almost dead and it, nothing's going my way, I'm going to do a little bit of a jump cut now and try and focus a little bit. Because I'm, I'm kind of doing worse because I'm, I'm chatting away. But it's kind of hard. It's not calamity hard or anything, like, even close, but... Definitely a little challenge. Oh my god. It just burns you to death. It's so annoying. Like, I fought it seven times? I'm kind of a little bit annoyed at it. I really am. It, like, when it gives you a debuff, like, the debuff is just so strong and lasts forever. So you've kind of got to not get hit at all. And, ah, oh, I'm not very good at bosses like that. Right. So, let's see what's next. Maybe we can do one tomorrow. Let's have a little look. Let's see what's next on the list. So, we're up to Ravager. I definitely think I'm strong enough for Ravager now that I've actually changed my loadout a little bit. We've still got Duke Fisher on left to do. I just need to get some bait. The only problem is, I don't know where my mushroom biomes are still. So, that's definitely one we can do. The Ancient. 
That's the one with the worm, right? So let's make some Egyptian parchment. Egyptian parchment. Okay. We'll give it a go. I said that I wasn't going to do this boss anymore because I didn't like it the first time because it was kind of... I don't know. It was a bit mad, to be honest. It was a very strange boss. But I am going to give it another go because I think, why not? I mean, you gotta, you got to try people's methods. You guys say turn frame skip on. I say okay. <laughs> and we'll see. Because last time it was off and I believe everything just went really slow-mo. I think this time it'll be more jittery. I can't remember. It's, I don't know. We'll find out. Right. So, let's buff up. I need to buy some more buffs. One second. I just need to buy uh, that, that, and that. Buff up. Okay. And we'll begin. Right. It's going to be a little bit same. Oh, my God. All right. It's a lot easier when this is, uh, <laughs> when you're using this. Okay. Let's still not die, though. Okay. It's going okay. It's going okay. Oh my god. Alright, let's use the uh, the thingy, Medoodle, the thing that gives debuffs. Let's use that. This is not bad. Uh, I mean, last time I did this, it took literally like five minutes to get to this point. So, I can kind of forgive it for that. And maybe the second part will be a lot easier. Who knows? Okay. It's so fast, though. Like, you feel like you can't even attack it. You just kind of, like... You feel like you're shooting in preparation for it to be there, if that makes sense. Okay. Down to the last little bit. So we did all this before, and then it goes all hyperdrive. And we'll see what the hyperdrive mode is like. Okay, this is it. I couldn't even tell you what was going on last time. Oh, man. If we could beat this a lot quicker because of the uh, the particle effects, it'd be so nicer. Because that would reduce it if we're actually destroying all the particles it's spitting out, right? Okay, the lag is picking up a little bit. Picking up a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, oh it jitted then. It, it's a lot better than before, right? <laughs> it's definitely better than before. Man, this is such a lovely place to fight it, right in between two cactuses. <laughs> Very thematic, let's just say that. Alright, let's spray them all, why not? Just to see if the spray actually works, I don't even know. I don't even know if the spray is a debuff or not, I just wing it. Okay, right, I could kind of do it for just sticking around, here we go. That's it, stay on the floor, down here, I can actually do more damage to you that way. Okay. NPCs are dying. I'm dying. I feel like it will die before I die, though. Like, with the rate it's going at, I feel like it's healing me as well a little bit. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. We actually did it. I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud. Man, I tell you what's super annoying, right? I live um with my houses. Behind my house is a car park quite a far bit back. I live kind of in the middle of nowhere. But that car park is a church car park. And every now and again, you get these kids that are out there because they're, like, here with the parents to go to church. Like, little kids. Like, younger, like, maybe, like, I don't know, younger than 10. And, oh, my God, they're so loud. Because, obviously, like, they get there and they want to, like, hang out with their mates. Maybe they haven't seen them in a while. Oh, my God, that's what I'm dealing with. Is that... Did I not get anything or is that it? I don't know. I didn't see it drop anything in particular. I mean, we got this yo-yo, but I don't even know what the Egyptian thingy was from. That's really cool yo-yo-like, but I don't know where all the stuff went. I'm wondering if it's, like, in here somewhere. Did it spawn in here? I'm kind of not sure. Hmm. Well, if I've missed it, guys, I'll refight it to uh, tomorrow and I'll, I'll get the loot. But I think that's it. Maybe? I don't know. What? What mod was it? It's from the Exodus mod. I don't get... Because I didn't get anything. Unless I'm just so blind. Oh my god. I hope I'm not so blind. Did any of you guys see where it was? I mean, there's potions there. But surely it can't just be potions, right? Oh wait, what am I doing? I can actually just grapple in. Was this it? There was potions? Was there anything else? Huh, I guess not. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. 
Hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed our brand new building in Spawn. Let me know. Wanted to do something to let you guys know. I'm still just as hyped for this series, and I think this is a pretty good indication. Right. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.